Welcome to my first Tekken 8 guide. This is a guide for Steve Fox because the character I play and just a quick disclaimer. I want to use this guide to take the advice of experts and masters and combine it with the experience of beginner. So I am still in somewhat lower ranks of Tekken, although I did get out of the beginner ranks pretty immediately, which is one of the reasons why I was inspired to make this video. So the purpose of this video is for people who don't know how to use Steve at all and want to get a little foundation of his game plan and what his good buttons and a few other tricks are. Make sure y'all subscribe for your boy. We on the way to 1K and we will plan to make more videos like this. Maybe even cover some different fighting games like Guilty Gear and surprise y'all with some others. So make sure y'all tap in, be on the lookout for that. We're gonna hop into part one. Like I said, if you don't know how to use Steve at all, just some of the things that I like to do that are easy in the execution way to quote Steve Fox in the game. I use a lot of the basic one, two, three, four, five. You know, those are all all good buttons. I use the ducking stance and and bob and weave a lot for opportunities to take my turn. Um, and the, and like the main thing any Steve player should be looking for is just quick punishes and counter opportunities but that's basically the the basics of the game plan so if you look at what steve experts and like other guides would tell you to do they'll tell you to stick to or they'll tell you that his main buttons are back one that's the first button that will be mentioned in any steve guide so you definitely want to be using that it's both fast, versatile, can be used offensively, defensively, and can uh, and it can mix up well with his stances, like the flicker stance, the peekaboo stance, the lionheart stance, which are all always mentioned as fundamental Steve tactics. You gotta learn how to master those stances, make your offensive pressure more variable, hard to predict, um, and mix your opponents up that way. Steve's great for putting a lot of pressure on opponents and just waiting for them to leave a crack in their defenses to where you could take advantage of that. And, and using his stances and the way that he'll like move without attacking is a great way to, to get started, especially in the lower ranks where people aren't as well versed in all the matchups. Also important is down forward two. And as I already mentioned, a one, two, one. These are great for counter hit punishes. Some of the cons of Steve and common pitfalls and mistakes. The first thing always mentioned here by experts and I definitely uh, have felt this struggle already myself. Steve's launchers are a little slower than, than normal. He doesn't have a quick 13 frame launcher like a lot of people. You got to go with some other tactics to punish opponents and maybe get them in the air off of your combos. Launch mid combo what I'm saying. Uh, the next the next con is ducking. As much as I've talked about how much I use it in this video it's very volatile. It's risky. You can very often get caught pressing a button when you were trying to dodge an attack, you know. So make sure not to get too lost in the sauce and the bobbing and weaving. And Steve also struggles with low attack. He doesn't have a great repertoire of low attacks and also he's not very good at defending against low attacks. So when you play playing Steve, make sure you watch your toes. And if this quick little guide was useful to you, make sure you drop a like and subscribe again. As I said, we will have some more Tekken 8 content coming. We've been streaming this game. So let's link up and let's play some.